What's going on everybody? I'm Terrence and this is Bank Shipping. Good morning, good morning. Hoping everybody is having a good morning so far. If you ain't up, like I always say, go ahead and get up, start that grind. Uh, it is a beautiful 68, 69 degree morning. Uh, dropped the load off this morning that I picked up on Friday. Dropped that off in King of Prussia. Uh, and now we are over here in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Uh, just picking up two 20 foot cans. Uh, that are going back to Virginia. Uh, I booked this load on Friday because it was paying really good, military load. Uh, so I said, why not? I'll take it. 40 feet of deck space, 10,000 pounds. Can't beat it. Uh, so we got here and uh, they, it was like 10 or 15 minutes before they went to lunch. So we're just sitting here waiting, waiting for them to come back from lunch so we can get loaded and get back out of here and head back to the house. Uh, so I'm going to hop back in the sleeper, kick my boots off, uh, and eat some lunch myself. Uh, before I get off here, I just want to say uh, shouts out to, to Hot Shot Benny. You know, keep your head up. I saw, uh, you know, his latest video. I don't know if you guys uh, follow Hot Shot Benny or not, uh, but I saw his latest video where uh, his apartment complex had an explosion in it. Uh, not his actual apartment, uh, but one of the, the apartments in his complex uh, had a gas explosion. So, you know, they closed everything and, and all that. So, uh, just wanted to say, you know, keep your head up. Prayers out to you, bro. Uh, you know, but material things, houses, trucks, cars, trailers, all that stuff can be replaced. A life can't, you know, so super happy to hear that you know none of your family was injured or anything like that so hopefully you, you know you get everything straightened up and get back to the grind so uh but we'll wait till uh, they get back from lunchtime and i'll get back to y'all back at the yard finally uh seemed like a long ride for some reason longer than normal i guess maybe because it's monday uh but this is what we got two 20 foot containers simple easy ride except for uh pennsylvania turnpike good lord i mean that uh that road is rough for as much money as you gotta pay to be on it don't make no sense but uh speaking of rough i did over the weekend you know i got some stuff done on the truck uh had to replace the filter uh on the air dryer just because it was time um what else did i do i did that and then i had to uh replace the frame bolt uh that broke uh with the fender so it's just the bolt the fender's still not here yet so once that gets here of course i'll put that back in and like i said i'm gonna weld the nut to the bolt so it don't move so i don't have no problems hopefully don't have any more problems with uh with fenders breaking or falling off uh and the last thing i did is last video i mentioned that my truck seemed to be riding a little more rough than normal um and i found out why so the reason why is it's kind of dark underneath there so i probably won't be able to see it but so my leveling valve is back there um and the bracket that holds the rod that operates the leveling valve um, was lower on the old rear that I had than what it is on the new rear. So when it was connected back together on the new rear, um, it was too long. So it wasn't, basically it wasn't pushing the leveling valve up to let it know that it needed to increase the pressure in the bags. So basically what was happening is for the last week, um, there's been not enough pressure in the bags. So on the drive axle of the truck. So that's why the truck had been riding rougher than normal. 
I don't really know why I didn't think to check that before. Um, you know, shame on me for assuming that, you know, that bracket was going to be in the same spot and everything was going to be copacetic. Um, so, but like I always say, you know, you learn from your mistakes. So now that's a learning lesson. Uh, so hopefully I don't ever have to get another rear. Um, but if my truck starts riding rougher than normal, um, I have a starting point. So, uh, but it's the end of the day, about to lose sunlight. So we're going to head, now I'm about to head to the house and uh, get back with it in the morning. This goes to um, Sterling, which is about 35 miles from here. Um, so I'll drop these two off in the morning, then come back and get some insulation. So it should be, hopefully, knock on wood, a pretty easy day. Uh, we'll see how it is when we get down to this drop because this drop is a secure location um so secure that you gotta have your driver's license passport birth certificate and it, they might as well want your firstborn child uh just to get in this place so probably won't be able to film too much since it is a secure location uh so but i'll see y'all in the morning all right we are empty uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt. I had to back in to that door right there. Um, but uh, there would have been enough space if I, if trucks weren't parked in that door right there. Um, and you know, it's got that concrete ramp right there that you got to get up. Uh, so a little bit of pulling up, backing up, pulling up, backing up, that whole steel, uh, steel. Uh, but we are empty, got it in there. They unloaded both of them, uh, you know, you back in there, they open the door. When you get to it, you back in, they shut it, they take your phone, all that good stuff. So of course I couldn't record in there. Uh, but now we are going to head back to Winchester uh, and get some insulation. So I will see y'all in a bit. Loaded for tomorrow and home early. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, got to my customer, pretty much got right in, got loaded up, strapped down, and back to the yard. Um, it's early. Heck, the kids ain't even home from school yet. So uh, I thought it was going to rain on us, but the, the storm went around. So that's good. But um, before I get off of here, I want to talk about something. Uh, and what I want to talk about is investing. And the reason I want to talk about investing is because... I always hear people talking about investing in this business, investing in the right truck, investing in the right trailer, the right setup, the right lanes, the right freight, all that stuff. They talk about investing in Bitcoin and stocks and Dogecoin and whatever, cryptocurrency, whatever you want to talk about. Um, but nobody ever talks about investing in yourself. And there's a lot of people that don't invest in themselves. So what I want to talk about is investing in yourself because when you invest in yourself, that will be the biggest and the best investment of your life. It is the investment that reaps the most rewards. When you invest in yourself, everything starts to come into place. And don't wait till tomorrow to invest in yourself. Do it today because tomorrow's not promised. And don't be scared to invest in yourself. Because once you get rid of that fear is when you can stop saying I wish and start saying I will. And when you say I will, that leads to a whole nother level of the playing field. You don't have to worry about anything. Everything that you're doing is going to fall into place. You might have some bumps and some bruises, but because you've invested in yourself and you started saying I will, It'll fall into place eventually. The road is rough, but hey, everybody would travel it if it was smooth. So invest in yourself so that you can get all these things, all these things to be prosperous. Reach all your goals. And then that one day that you reach your goals, you'll be happy. You'll be elated. You'll be ecstatic that you invested in yourself. I promise you that. You will be so happy that you took the time 
to make you who you are, to make you the one who accomplished all those goals. So if you don't do anything else today, just make sure that you are invested in yourself and what you're doing. So as always, stay prayed up, grind hard, and stay humble. Thank mm -hmm. you.